Good day, everybody, wherever you are in the world. I have a story for you, uh, and I'm trying to do this um, whole mounting the phone on the dash with a full water bottle behind it, so if it looks kind of shaky, I'll try to drive carefully so it doesn't fall off, but just in case it does, you'll know what's going on here. Hopefully, we'll try to drive carefully, God willing. So it was last week that this story took place, and before I give you more details about it, here's a little bit of background um, about myself. I am what you would call a, uh, a weather geek or a weather buff. Ever since I was about five years old, I've been in love with the weather. I have just been fascinated by, by the atmosphere, by the sky, by the clouds, by the storms. And I always wanted to know uh, what happens, what makes the weather do what it does. Um, that started my, my um, education and my career uh, as a meteorologist. And, um, as, uh, there you go. Well, hold on. And it started my... Um, work in the field of atmospheric science and, and, and teaching all sorts of fun things. Uh, anyways, uh, th the deal is like this. Last week, uh, we had this huge storm that was bearing down in California. That's where uh, I live. And uh, in California, as you know, there's a myth that weather never happens. And that's actually a myth, a big myth, because the problem is people believe it because for a few months, things uh, in the weather may tend to um, stay the same. And people get this idea that it's always sunny, and judging by what it looks like outside right now, uh, it's definitely um, not that sunny. There's sun, obviously, above the clouds, but not underneath them. And that's good, because we need the rain, and we know that there's sometimes drought and fires and all sorts of things. The media does a good job at advertising what happens around the world uh, when that occurs, but that's a very typical part of living in California, is these kinds of things. So, last week there was a huge storm that came into the West Coast, and it was already, as early as like Monday, started noticing uh, that it had some historical characteristics to it. Uh, it would have been really strong, really cold, and uh, long story short, it now appeared to be that it was going to be dropping snow, possibly in places that not only don't always see it uh, every year, but almost never this early. We're talking about like the week of Thanksgiving. And I grew up in the Antelope Valley, which is an hour north of Los Angeles, a place that, because it's up a little bit higher in elevation, it's not in the mountains, but it's in the higher desert, we would get snow growing up once every year to two to three years. Every once in a while we'd have a snow day, maybe get a dusting a few inches on the ground, and that, that would be awesome. And then some years go by and it hasn't snowed for a long time, for a longer time. So this particular storm that came in, can see we're live and it's okay that way because that, that this is when I have the time to actually uh, make these videos when I'm driving. Uh, so when um, when we had this storm that came in uh, last week, it looked really impressive and I always want to see the weather because that's kind of, I got into the weather because of active conditions and I'm like, this is insane. This is going to possibly be a snowstorm up in the Yellow Valley, Lancaster um, and, and uh, January it's normal maybe once every two or three years to get a bit of a, a snow, a few inches or dusting, but not in November. I, I never ever saw that before. And so I start making the, the posts online and uh, alerting people, friends, family. I have a little bit of a weather page. You can check it out if you want to as well. Maybe I'll link it after I'm able to, uh, after this video. And th this, this whole situation is going on and it's apparent now. It could be a, a snowstorm. It could be one that we haven't seen in years. Uh, maybe decades, and so I really want to obviously naturally see it. We've got the days off, the time off from, from school, from work. Uh, it's not hard to make an hour drive north up to, to thank God, my parents' house up there that live that, that live in Lancaster, and we live here in the San Fernando Valley. And so, but we have already been invited from weeks previous to, to my relatives' uh, in-laws. Uh, they wanted to spend time with us, and we would be... Uh, uh, going to Oxnard, which is about 45 minutes drive the other direction, towards the beach, towards the coast. Definitely not uh, towards the snow. Uh, and I was like, oh no, this is this is what's going on here. I mean, this is like, to, to Weather Geek, you have a possible historic storm, you want to see it, it's a snowstorm. Every kid that, 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 basically almost every kid wants to see snow, especially when it doesn't occur every year, every decade. And, and I consider myself a kid at heart uh, in terms of uh, my love for the weather. And all of a sudden, we're invited the other direction. So what can I do to argue with the family, with the relatives, with the in-laws? No, come on, please. I already mentioned it. Maybe we can go up for half a day, whatever. It wasn't really, that wasn't really going to happen. So I started to, to do what I've been learning, trying to learn for the last about decade or so, the, the path of Amunah, which is 
Hashem is in charge, and I would drive to, to work from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of last week and just be talking to, to God, to the Creator, to Hashem. Yes, you can talk to Him because He's, he's there. Uh, and, and I would tell Him, uh, here is the deal. Uh, obviously, the weather is exciting. Uh, you know what's going to happen because you're in charge of it. Uh, and I want to see that, that type of a weather. Obviously, you know that. But um, I also uh, am learning that according to the path of Amuna, whatever happens in the world is, is, is orchestrated by the Creator, by God. And there is, there is no such thing as random, as coincidental. And it just so happens to be that the days that we have off, that we can easily make a drive up north to see the snowstorm, we're invited to Oxnard, the other place, to get this um, for Thanksgiving. Uh, for Thanksgiving dinner and several days with with with, with the relatives and laws, etc. Okay, so I'm just talking to God. You know, I'm I'm trying to have faith that 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 you're in charge and that whatever weather is meant for me to see, we'll see all that stuff. And then I started to I've been learning the path of Muna and the path of gratitude, which is you can even thank God for the situations you're in, even if those situations aren't really 100% to what what you want to experience because that is a, a, a higher level but a very important level of a munah that is also on uh, according to the teachings of uh, that, that go even further beyond that it's, it's a lot of I'm trying to learn that as well and so and so I'm driving and I'm just trying to do this personal prayer okay God uh, thank you that you're in charge of the weather that you're you're, you're possibly gonna make the snowstorm and even if I see it coming two three four days away I may not be able to go to see it physically unless it actually, um, you know, obviously, unless you want me to, whatever, and that's all good. And then the day, Wednesday night comes on Thursday, wake up, and sure enough, it's snowing like crazy up in the high desert. They already got three to four to five inches on the ground. It's 9 a.m. It's insane. My parents and brothers are sending me photos, videos, like, oh, it's amazing. Look at this. And the last time it snowed like that, anything like that, was um, maybe, maybe eight years ago, uh, and that was in January. This is unprecedented. They ended up getting a storm up there that they haven't seen for 55 years in November. 55 years, more than half a century. And I was like an hour away and I saw it coming for two, three, four days and I wasn't able to come up to see it physically. And obviously for a weather geek like me, it was it was kind of a, it was it's a big challenge to say the least because I storm chase. I go out there and I, and I try to go after this kind of weather, uh, storms, tornadoes and all sorts of stuff like that. And to have this huge snowstorm and, and, but of course, I'm, so I try to, at, the, at, at, at around breakfast time, I try to stand there in front of the stove and I'm okay, God, thank you, it's Thanksgiving, I have to really focus on the thanks, because that's a very, it, it's nothing is coincidental. So I thank God, thank you that you're making the snowstorm up in the Yellow Valley, and you know how much I wanted to see it, and you know how much I wanted to be there for it, and you know how much I wanted my family to, to see it as well, because, because it's just awesome. And, and, and obviously, you made it that we didn't, which means it's, 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 it's from you, and it's for a purpose, and it's for the best. And I need to try, if I'm able to, to thank you for it because that's also level of Munah that I'm trying to learn. And so I started thanking, thanking God, thanking Hashem for the fact that there's this big snow that's the huge, like more than half a century of a storm. And I, and I didn't um, go up there to see it, but I was trying to forecast it for two, three, four days. Even called the radio stations up in the Antelope Valley. I thought I was crazy. Uh, telling them it's going to be a historic storm. This is on Monday, four days before the storm. Historic storm coming out. Okay, great. Thank you very much. They don't know, the, you know basically whether or not the person's calling them is credible or not. Uh, and so anyways, what ended up happening was that the storm was incredible, literally incredible, but credible. And so massive amounts of, uh, of snow that occurred. And, and uh, this ended up snowing from morning until the evening on and off. And they ended up getting like basically four to six inches uh, of snow, some places even more than that, which is for, for a place like the Antelope Valley, if you're from Southern California, you know that's a lot of snow uh, for any time of the year, much less in November, the Thanksgiving. It was a white Thanksgiving. So so long story short, we're driving to Oxnard on the 101, and we're going to, to spend time with the in-laws, thankfully, for Thanksgiving for the evening, and we notice that there's a, a cloud coming up also another part of a storm. And the next thing you know, I see that this this, this big cloud, uh, it's a, a developing thunderstorm. Now, obviously, that's exciting for me, huge. So we get to the, to the house in Oxnard, and I, I, I go outside, and I'm watching this thing for the next 30 minutes, maybe an hour. And lo and behold, this thing gets stronger. And before you know it, this huge thunderstorm moves straight towards, straight towards uh, Oxnard, where we were. And all of a sudden, it produces a funnel cloud, 
a funnel cloud, if, if you know a little bit about weather, that's a developing tornado that if it touches down, it becomes a twister. If it's over the water, it's called the water spout. And I, I've chased tornadoes before. I went to school in Oklahoma, University of Oklahoma, where I studied meteorology and geography. And But for California, this is like in, this is something that happens more, more, than, more often than people think. But I've never officially, um, okay, I can't say never, Officially to capture a funnel cloud on video and photographs all across the Midwest where I went to school, yes. But but in California, that's kind of a rare event, to say the least. Let you know, I'm videotaping this thing, the funnel cloud, coming into Oxnard Harbor. And this is the same day that the snowstorm that has, is occurring up in the high desert. And I'm seeing this thing. Long story short, my wife tells me, you might want to send us the news. Now, for a while, for some years, I've been trying to get some of my storm footage or California weather footage on channels in LA, but um, it was always okay things, but they didn't end up using them. Well, this thing, I sent an email, or uh, sent an email out, a few emails, next thing you know, my phone's ringing off the hook. Long story short, a few hours later, thank God, uh, KCAL 9, KCBS, KNBC 4, uh, KTLA 5, uh, and Fox 11 uh, are all basically having it and airing it on their primetime news, my funnel cloud footage. Uh, that's channel 9, channel 4, channel 5, uh, channel 11 for Los Angeles. Uh, and Santa Barbara, their news channel three, and then I get an email from uh, from Fox News National, Fox News, uh, that they want permission to use it on all their platforms. Wow! So we ended up seeing some awesome weather, and it ended up making the rounds uh, across the, the the media. And this was when I was asking God, the Creator, please let me believe that you're going to allow me to see the weather you want me to see, and and you're in charge. You know how much I want to see this type of weather, you know how much that, that means to me, but also I have to believe that it's from you and I'm not supposed to push and force my in-laws or my family plan for 55 years. Uh, and, and so I just tried to really take a few days to talk to the creator when I'm driving, when I'm doing whatever, and to really believe that, 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 that he's in charge, even of the weather and how much, how much I care about that, etc. Next thing you know, I was able to capture this incredible storm this funnel cloud, this thunderstorm that ended up producing quite a show uh, across Oxnard, uh, and and it ended up being uh, picked up on the major media stations, which was awesome to say the least. So that is my story. the The point of the matter is that the creator it knows what a person's interests are. Uh, he actually gave us our interests for a reason, and uh, he's in charge of the weather and all aspects of our lives. And sometimes puts in situations where. It's almost like a, 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 a test situation where we can either fight and argue and try to um, impose our will on our family members uh, with force, or we can try to just take our, our emotions and our energy and our interests and our, and our thoughts to the Creator Himself and to focus with prayers, with, with requests, and with thanks and with gratitude, the story of Thanksgiving, and all of a sudden He may just have a, a, a big weather event that you were meant to see, or maybe He made you to see uh, in addition to what you wanted to see, uh, that would get uh, a lot of notoriety uh, as well. And that was my story I wanted to share with you guys, and I'll try to link the actual news coverage here in a few minutes, God willing. Alrighty, have a great day. Sorry for the shaky camera, but you guys were told that might happen. All right.